My name is Aldine Ketchum, and I'm a traditional artist and storyteller. I uh, have been a bear dance chief for over 20 years now, and it's a um, job that those that accept it you know, have a responsibility to provide their songs, and which are healing songs that uh, that you people have been doing for uh, many um, generations. And I play for different circumstances, like you know, weddings or birthday parties or whatever the occasion may be. I play that role. The flute is a healing instrument that my grandfather said that heals all living things from the tiniest bug to the biggest animal. And, and that's the unique thing about the flute, I think, how it um, played an important role in keeping everything in balance. My inspiration I get, my music is from the animals. I incorporate a lot of their songs and sounds that they make. And so when I go out and play my music, it attracts all kinds of animals. There goes the hawk. The animals were an important part of our culture. We didn't worship any of them or in that way. We honored them in, in our dances and songs. And My band that I belong to, we're probably in the 300s right now. And, and so we um, are part of the Ute band of Wienut that live in this area, the Four Corners band. And that's where my people had lived for thousands of years and until we were invaded. But we still exist here, and that's where I grew up as a kid. For once we had dirt roads here, now we have a highway and um, asphalt. And when people look at San Juan County, you know, they don't think no native people exist here still. But if you look closely, you know, we're still on the map. The music part of it is important to help us preserve our songs and our stories in, in that perspective. This bag is a um, one that my wife, Wanda, made me. So she uh, made this for me to keep all my flutes in. And so as an artist, I learned to create um, with my hands. And I learned how to make the flute for my grandfather. And he showed me a technique of taking from a live living tree without destroying it, like from the cedar, traditional cedar wood. And the tree would heal itself. and and you work with it to give it a voice, so to speak. So this is the one that um, I made for my little friend, the red-tailed hawk I raised, and my grandfather gave me the name of Wanaksarakakwanechich, meaning red-tailed hawk, lightning hawk. And so I use it in my performing name as well. And, and this one here is made out of the um, river cane, which is a plant that is grown right out in my yard here. The bamboo of the United States, they call it. And I have another here that's made out of bird's eye maple tree. This is what the bull elk would sound like during the rutting season. This is uh, the flute I played at the 2002 Winter Olympics. And this is a song they had us play called We Are the People. So my flutes are unique in a way of custom made and I still use raw materials and it seems like everybody wants to be a flute maker these days and so they mass produce them and, and sell them in vast quantities that with the teachings of my grandfather's traditional values that um, restricted me from that of mass producing my flutes and enables it to make it difficult for me to make a decent living nowadays. Um, this one here is um, the bear dance rasp. You can see a carving of the bear here. 
has a different sound. You can really hear the bear growling here. way of living our people have and through songs and dances I think we um, only become stronger and pass it on to the younger generation to help them understand where uh, who they are and where they stand in the world. Mm -hmm. 